What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We have seven of eight in the queue for this Magic 30 cube draft. We're waiting for one more. And then it's going to pop off. And then we're popping off. Are you ready for the pop off? I'm ready. I was born ready. I came out of the womb and my mom was like, boy, he sure is ready for the pop off. Any day now. Seven of eight. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. <laughs> and then you got you got Shanala in the chat adding glasses to emotes, so that's wholesome. Any day now. One person is all we need here. So, any day now. Any day. And if you guys want to support the channel in, in ways that are not solely monetary, definitely check out Factor. It's a great way to support the channel. They're sponsored for the next week. Uh, you get 50% off your first box, no matter how many things are in it. You can get two meals, 14 meals, 27 meals, however many meals you want. And 50% off if you use my code and my link. And it's a great way to support the channel. Uh, I moved that Galactus there literally five minutes ago. And I was like, you know what? He's on the floor, but he could easily just stand up here. And now it's a lot cooler and I like it a lot better. And I kind of like Soul Herder and kind of building around Soul Herder. Um, I was also seeing 720p as the highest and I literally have no idea what's causing it. It's really frustrating because last time I started the stream, it was 720. I stopped streaming and then started again and it was 1440. And then I started this stream and it's 720. And I'm like, I have no idea what's triggering it to be 720. And I'm wondering if I just stop it and start it again, if it's going to be 1440. I have no idea. But I'm going to roll with it right now because I this nothing stops this train. Nothing. You can't keep getting away with it. That was a little Breaking Bad reference in case you guys didn't get it. I don't know if you did or not. I don't know what you're what you're about. Here's a tundra. <laughs> Nothing stops this rat train. Nothing. I like a tundra. I like a ponder too, but I'm a tundra man. I bet that deep that dead eye navigator comes back too. What do you think? I'm bl I am blinking some stuff. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my blink daddy. Yeah, you could be possible who can, who can say I see Katie in the chat I don't know if she's watching from from the bedroom and just being sneaky about it baby being sneaky are you in the are you in the little chitty chat or I was gonna say the window might be open on her computer upstairs when she was watching earlier and she may never closed it so it's still just on that screen it's tricky. It's hard to say. But being that it's 1045, she's probably asleep. Oh, baby, a Moldrifter and a Venser? Wow, that's exciting. <sighs> I think I gotta go Mully. Yeah, you ever blink a Moldrifter? God damn, dude. That's one of the best feelings you can get. You know what? Roof Pizza sounds like a ska band, so that was a fantastic. That was well timed. Man, you guys all ever listened to Roof Pizza, or or was that was that ahead of your time? Uh, Thraben Standard Bearer one one. Discard a creature to make a one one. I am personally unexcited by that, that card's existence. Hmm. This pack's pretty bad for us. We've got a strategic planning. It's not terrible. Shipwreck Marsh lets us play some black, some black stuff. I guess we'll take a Marsh here. I don't love it. I don't want more of it, you know?
Oh, I meant Blink Daddy, but that's funny because I think Roof Pizza sounds like a more ska name than Blink Daddy. I guess Blink Daddy has daddy in the name and ska bands do love having daddy in the name. <laughs> you basic. <laughs> uh, sometimes Superfruit says some shit and I'm like, that's not funny. But then I find myself laughing at it anyway and I'm like, you know what? Maybe it was funny. I'm like, damn, he got me. I feel like Ghostly Flicker is probably better than Sky Hussy. Who can say? You know what I wish I had more of in my house? Honey roasted or, or sweet and crunchy nuts of any kind. That's what I wish. Like, I think honey roasted are inferior to, like, the sweet and crunchy nuts. I don't know if you guys have had those. They're like peanuts, but they're, like, covered in a texture, and they're, like, sweet and delicious. They're very good. And I think those are better than honey nut, but they're harder to find. And also, any nuts of those kind are so expensive. Candies almonds. <laughs> Who's candy? Don't eat her almonds. I'm gonna take Isolated Chapel. I don't think it's mirror entity. I kind of like a chroma and being able to cheat it in somehow. But I'm just gonna go with black, black cards to splash here. <laughs> Habanero barbecue almonds? That sounds like too much. I don't need my spicy sweet. I don't need my almonds to be spicy too, you know? I think it's just on barrel rights here. We got good ways to cast it. So I'll put it in the main deck, you know? Frank, can I introduce you to a website called nuts.com and no, this isn't a D's nuts joke. Um, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. But if it's bad, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna trust you. God, nuts.com. Fuck, please. Oh, wow. It's a real site and it looks amazing. I'm impressed. Wow, this is cool. All right. All right. Well, they're probably going to get a lot of my money in a bit. I kind of like Bruna here. And what if we get a Gisela and then we can meld them into some, some cool shit? Also, what if we get that Acroma back and then we, we have like a reanimate deck instead of a blink deck? Wouldn't that be cool? I love buying all my office writing supplies at blank. Perfect for life pads and game notation. I can't since this is the first time you've ever chatted in here, I can't tell if that's a if you're just if you're just if you're really trying to interact here, if that's like an ad you're <laughs> you're running. Oh, I get it. Yes. <laughs> I see. We're having a good time. Okay. Uh, no matter any sense, I only cast creature spell of the chosen type. No, we'll take Reggie because it lets us discard. And our little snake's name is Reggie. Actually, today was our is Reggie's one year anniversary with us. Um, discard a card. I do kind of like that we're leaning into reanimation here. I'm gonna take the air of Falcon Wrath. Oh, a fetid heath. That's pretty cool. Come on, Akroma. Come on back. Come on back. We think he was about six months, so maybe he's a year and a half now. Whenever a non creature crystal dies, sacrifice it, search your graveyard at hand, and library for Kratom God Pharaoh's gift. I'm going to take this in case we get a God Pharaoh's gift. That would be kind of cool. Still owe you an introduction. Be dealing with a sick mom. Oh, dude, don't even worry about it, man. I hope your mom is doing okay. Dude, really appreciate it. I actually totally forgot to message you, and then I did. And then I just sent you a LinkedIn invite, so. Dude, don't worry. Take care of family first. Really, really appreciate you, buddy. Is that old for a snake? Uh, no, snakes live to be like 40 years old. Reggie Reggie will be 
around into me and Katie's retirement. <laughs> Snakes, ball pythons live for reptiles in general live for a, a, a long time. The fuck? How did the Acroma not come back? That's wild. I do like this a lot, but we don't have we don't have a green source of any kind. I don't want I don't want to be four colors here. Is it just br I don't think bribery is as strong in this cube. I almost kind of want Tithe Taker, but that seems really unimpressive when there is a bribery in the pack. Maybe this cube is actually better for bribery because you can just get there's like there's just gonna be more creatures. Like it's more of a mid rangey cube. I can't pass a bribery. That just doesn't feel correct. <sighs> Tithe Taker will probably come back. I, I think you're right. I think I believe you. It's popping off up here and come back, including remote work. Do you get a recent introduction? Just don't need to tax credits. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I kind of like taking Flesh Gorger here. Because if you reanimate this, it's a 7-5. Yeah, we're taking Fleshy Boy. If you had morals, you would get bribed. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> oh, God. Someone, someone translate. Oh, wouldn't. Yeah, okay. I was like, that doesn't even make any sense. I'm like, Dillon Mace usually makes way more sense than this. Ancient Copper Dragon. It's funny because I assume your name is Dylan, but I always call you Dillon because your name is Dillon. So that's just, I don't know if that's correct or not, you know? Sorry for distracting you. Yeah, how dare you? Can someone please time out Odysseus? Super rude. I kind of just want this, but I don't think, I don't know if it's going to be good. Have we got 14 seconds? Could just take Caves of Coilos too. Having good mana seems nice. I'm going to take the Caves of Coilos. Like none of those cards really excited me, you know? So discard outlet, discard outlet. What do you get back? A human? You may return an angel or a human. Okay. Oh, we did get the God Pharaoh's gift. It's funny that the Sawtooth Loon is in here. Return a blue or white creature to its owner's hand. When it enters the battlefield, draw two cards and put cards two cards from your hand on the bottom of your library. It's not even it's not even good. Well, I'm taking God Pharaoh's gift because it makes all of a sudden it makes Gate to the Afterlife a playable. We make him play worse by making stupid jokes and fuel the YouTube trolls. It's, it is the circle of life. That is how it works, yeah. He's got my number. What is this fat daddy? Eight mana for a seven six with convoke and flying. Enters the battlefield, search library for a card, exile it face down and shuffle. Oh, this is just the new rune scarred demon. Well, it's good enough for me. We're definitely more blue black now. We're just full on Esper. Let's just let's just acknowledge it. Hoarding, hoardling is a fucking prosper all star. Prosper. What does that mean? It is a rune scarred dragon instead of a rune scarred demon. I kind of just like a knight's whisperer. Prosper. Oh, you're referring to the commander, I assume. Prosper or Tomebound. Yeah, 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 okay. That makes more sense. Odysseus, you've been married for 23 years, my dude? I would not have guessed that. Because I didn't think you were old enough to be married for 23 years. That's insane, man. Congratulations on 23 years, even if it's not like, even if there's no like anniversary coming up, that's still wild. I kind of just like recoil because it's, 
it's fucking cool and it reminds me of old school mtg it was an arranged marriage at one <laughs> he's yeah he's 24 now it's good times oh god so it's just buried alive Nope, guess it's Multani. See, this is what happens. I'm reading the fucking chat. You guys are distracting me. I'm having a good time, and then all of a sudden, I take a fucking Multani. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh, I, mm, eh, I might just take this to reanimate. Oh, banishing light's fine. I like a good ban. I don't know for soul hurting anymore. I don't think we have any good soul herder things. We do want more reanimation things, though. But we also have God Pharaoh's gift, which is kind of cool. Put it onto the battlefield. Oh my god, he just gets to... Wait, hold on. Search line... Hold on. There's no way, right? It's probably exactly what I think it does, but there's no way. I'm going to take Geth. Okay. For two mana, search your... Sacrifice gate to the afterlife. Search your... Great red hand library for a card named God Pharaoh's gift. Put it on the battlefield. Oh, there's got to be six or more creatures in your graveyard. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. I don't remember this being... Yeah, Acroma didn't come back. Tithe Taker didn't come back. What else didn't come back? Yeah, Marsh Flitter. I think Marsh Flitter is probably better than Sawtooth Loon. Yeah, Angel of Sanction. I mean, I was thinking, like, I really would like another seven drop. Yeah, Superfoot's got a, a big promotion. He was like, I'm tired of this subway life. Buried Alive isn't actually terrible here. <laughs> okay. Uh, met on top of a mountain cooking together. Thin air and alcohol and her recognition that I was the best she could find at 7,800 feet. Wow. God. Romance. Okay, what's actually happening here? I like a Flooded Strand, although it can only get a Tundra. I also like an Underground Sea. Can't get a Black Source with this yet. And nothing in here is really, like we want some cheaper stuff, I think. We want some more. It was not shooting. Whenever Moon, Sa Moon, Sa Moon Sage's Scion deals combat damage to player X, the top card of each player's library. You may play one of those. And you pay life to do it. I don't care about. I don't, I don't care enough about that or any of the cards in this pack. I'm just gonna take the the fetch land here. Crystal build persuasion. I do like factor fiction. It gets some things in the graveyard. I actually like that a lot. We have ten creatures. Yeah, I like fact here. I think it's really pretty good. Angel of despair. Wow, I like you a lot too. We're like the Signets and the Rampy cards. Like, I want to be able to actually, like, cast some of this stuff if I have to. I think Brazen Barber is pretty good here. You might have a better offer coming? Oh, my God, dude. Jesus, this is the year of Super Fritz. I'm going to take Brazen Barber. I do like Angel of Despair a lot. Thank you. Especially because of its um, Solar Flare uh, history. Odysseus, thank you for the sub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Always appreciate you, my dude. I like a Seagate Oracle. It's another creature that can die. It can die. Man, Super Fritz is just like entrepreneurial spirits kick, kick killing it. Thank you. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Never one to rest on his laurels, I guess. Really appreciate you, man. That's awesome, dude. Oh, what, I'm not the plague? Thank you. All subways near me closed. Where am I supposed to get my meatball sub with extra mayo? Thank no, you. don't like that. Don't like that. That's disgusting. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that's a meme that originated here, right? Like, that's just a stream original, isn't it? I don't think we're ghostly 
ghostly flickering here either. I mean, we could flicker like Seagate Oracle. It's just not very exciting. <laughs> uh. No subway does have a drive through do they? That's interesting. Oh, I like, I like Invasion of Tolvada here a lot. Return a non-battle permanent card from the grid to the battlefield, and then we can flip it. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. Crystal blue persuasion. <coughs> Shipwreck Marsh is not a... No, okay, just checking. I get Shipwreck Marsh this cycle along with the... Battle for Zendikar cycle confused. I'm like, which ones have the basic land type? Sagashima's Imposter, not bad. Probably correct based on the number of other options in this pack. <gasps> oh, that's the ticket. Oh yeah, we're just taking Gisela because of the because the potential to, to meld. To mind meld here. Oh, a scrubland is actually fantastic here. Especially because we took that flooded strand. That's actually great. What if that underground comes back? Why is there not a sausage, hot dog, and a bun fast food chain? <laughs> in a bun. Wait, hot dog and a bun? A bun? Isn't that what it come? Wait. Don't they come on buns? Oh, the underground did come back. And it's the only card in here worth taking, so that's good. Hot dog in a bun. Are you just saying it's because, there, are you just saying there's no hot dog food chains? Because hot dog in a bun seems redundant. I'm like, that's just how they come, right? Don't they just come in the bun? Exotic creature returns about it. It's just a blinker. Um, I think it's just seal here. We don't have much removal, so. Why is the sound doubling up? Someone explain it to me. Odysseus, you own a couple restaurants too? How is this what what kind of what kind of systems you guys got up there in Canada? Uh Wrath of God seems good. That deals with shit. And then I can just untap and, and reanimate something, you know. Do I only have two reanimators? Might have to take out Atraxa. Like I just like being able to cast all the cards in the deck and not like rely on this. If this is the other attracts, if this was like seven mana attracts, I'd be like. Destroy a permanent you own. <laughs> Two life, add a mana of any color. Whatever. I actually like this guy a lot. I'm a big fan of Miss Syndicate Naga. What can we take out for him? Ooh, Garth One Eye came back. So they've been having ad breaks come up that are like a minute and a half, and I shorted them to 30 seconds, so that should be a little better. Um, we also have Overwhelming Remorse. Could also play Soul Herder. I don't think it's great here, though. Do I have any other two drops that are, like, reasonable to play? Not really. Of course, Skyfisher is not bad, but, like, on two, I don't want to return a land to do it, so... Hmm. Thane of contracts. Negative one, negative one. Okay, that's fine. Return a creature from your river to the battlefield. It gains. 
I don't know if this guy's that good. He has another reanimate outlet, but I mean, like, I think between Umbero Wright's invasion and Godfrey's gift, we should be okay. Hard to say. This is a lot of good lands, though. So cards I would consider, Overwhelming Remorse, is Angel better than either of these? No, probably not. Does she get anything back, though? Gets a human back? I think we have, like, one human. She also get Giselle back, I guess. That's I guess that's the, the whole point, right? She saves her, her lady friend. They're just roommates. <laughs> uh, good times. I don't think I want to be putting... Eh, maybe, maybe, like, maybe Buried Alive is worth it. We could literally Buried Alive Bruna, Gisela, and, like, something else. But, I mean, considering we're trying to cut a card, I think just Miss Syndicate Naga is probably the cut. It just doesn't do anything. Isn't it, are we human or are we dancing? Is it dancer? That doesn't make any sense. I guess the song doesn't make. I think it, it oh wow, it is dancer. This song actually drives me nuts because I just don't understand it, dude. The lyrics make no sense to me. <laughs> Why is that line in The Killer's Human so controversial? The story behind one of Brandon Flowers' most troublesome lyrics. <laughs> yeah, because it makes no sense. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, white, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So not bad. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's pretty bad. Seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Black, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is like ten, ten, eight. I think that's probably fine. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see if this if this deck does anything cool. What are our discard outlets? We got Air Falcon Wrath, Guardian, Rotting Regisaur. Factor Fiction's good. All right. I trust it. I trust the process. I don't know what's going on in the chat. Sometimes I just got to leave you guys to your own devices, you know? Man, I wish the default resolution wasn't 720. That would be cool. I wish we could find a match too. Both of those things would be super cool. There we go. Did you guys see Sinead O'Connor died? Fucking bummer, man. Why do all our amazing Irish leading women die so young? Dolores O'Riordan also died super young. Lead singer of the Cranberries. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh man, I was hoping... Oh, that's a bummer. 
I was hoping this was the gonna take bribery. I was hoping this was the the two mana one. I guess you can search your hand. What magic card is this background? It's not. It's not a magic card. Any new great comics? No, not since I've been unemployed. <laughs> All right. Well, we just blue screened, so I have no idea if that actually. Did anything. <laughs> that was fun. I don't know why my computer's been doing this recently, but uh, I've personally been enjoying it. I've been a big fan. Hold on, let me close this really quick. Open this guy up. Close you. Pop this guy back. All right, well, good times. And Vile Smasher. What if we draw Wrath of God? Wouldn't that be cool? It was not a Wrath of God. Still 720. Oh, now we got 1440. We got 1440 available to us. So apparently if I start streaming and then I stop streaming and then I start streaming again every time, 1440. However, I'm still not sure. Vol MGR. Is it a voltage issue? It was a blue screen, yes, unfortunately. Hmm, this is a lot of things here that you're doing. Uh, yes, I would love to draw a card. Uh, discard. Do we discard Bruna? I think we're pretty far from casting Bruna. Actually, we'll discard God Pharaoh's Gift, because we're just going to be able to use this, I think. Seal of Doom. I just want to kill this guy. Does that feel correct? We can't? Oh, because he's black. Smart. Smart. I thought he was... I didn't think he was black for some reason. Isn't that strange? Hold on, let me screenshot these these errors really quick so I can find them. All right, uh, I guess we're just passing here. Uh, yeah, we did get an error code, but, like, the screen goes so fast. Like, I literally try to pick up my phone and take a screenshot of it. I, like, I don't understand why there's not, like, I guess, I guess it's, I guess it's during an error. So, it's, like, I wonder why, like, they should be able to, like, there should be a log that has the error code in it. It's very weird that Windows is as old as it is. Who are you killing? Sure.
Well, I don't want to go to four, so I guess I'll just kill you. And I feel like we're going to top deck Wrath of God. Gonna be a land. Sure. I don't actually, I don't, I don't really get why you did it then, but. All right. So, an aggressive deck. I almost kind of wonder if Buried Alive is good here. Any meatball and mail, mail lovers in the chat? Good lord, man. The, the number of times that gets referenced in any given stream is wild to me. Hmm. I kind of like bringing in Buried Alive and Overwhelming Remorse. Cut Knight's Whisper for Buried Alive. Bring in Remorse for probably like Sakashima's student. Like Buried Alive putting like three creatures in the graveyard is just really like eight drop, seven drop, and you know, something else maybe. Other seven drop. No blue cards, but we also don't need them, so I accept. Oh god, Miracle Whip. Ugh. Katie loves Miracle Whip. It's like mayo with sweet and low in it. There are a lot of empty boxes in my what are what are they? It's so good in tuna fish, please no. I need you to stop. Beware of mana burn. Thanks, Grandma. I appreciate you looking out. Oh, a little. <clears throat> well, she doesn't use it in anything. She uses it on sandwiches. She's not making recipes with it. She's just putting it on her turkey sandwich. Like a weirdo. Get in there. Do your job. Argentina. Good to see you. It's not good on any of those things. I'm so sorry that you feel this way. True Garner, this is where we have to part ways. We have to go our separate ways. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How much mayo does Argentina keep? Good question. Good question. God, every game with this guy, huh? You know what'd be cool? Bruna. That's not Bruna. You're not Bruna!
Hmm. So I could discard this and this and reanimate? That's pretty good. Just kidding. It's not that good. One, two, three. She's also super weak right now. We have great sandwiches over here. That's good to hear. If a place doesn't have good sandwiches, what are you doing with yourself, you know? <laughs> Fucking, dude, that mayonnaise clip, I still think about that to this day. I don't want to lose any mayonnaise. A big clump of mayonnaise came out. Catwit. <laughs> this is Kerwit and Catwit. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good times. Great oldies. So apparently two of the errors were vol manager errors. Dump file creation failed due to error during dump creation. God, I hate when there's an error during the dump creation. You just sit on the toilet and like nothing. You're like, what is this dump creation error that's happening right now? Oh, Goblin Matron. <laughs> well, it's volume. I believe it's volume manager. <laughs> Not vol like me, <laughs> uh, Let's see what kind of see what kind of goblin you're getting here. Man, this says opponent at random, but I keep getting hit by it. Weird. Come at me, bro. They did not, in fact, come at me. Oh, with the bee light. Give me that bee light. Let's use this fine gentleman. Let's get rid of this idiot. These are all goblins, too, man. Look at this goblin theme deck they got going. Odysseus, man, thanks for the subs and thanks for the for the chat, buddy. I'll uh, I'll hit you back. I'm going to need you to stand up, then sit down. Tell me when you've done it. <laughs> yeah, all right, just let me know when that's finished. Okay, thanks. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Really? This is like the rudest thing you could do, I think. They were like, stop gaining that life. Joke's on you, I got this on burial rights. I guess I gotta test all my hard drives tonight. Yeah, that guy's not doing anything. That's not a goblin, that's a rat. That's a rat. Is this Krark just in here because it's a goblin, you think? Does he, do they have any flip spells that are really going to take advantage of this? Bruna one time. Factor Fiction could be a Bruna. Let's play it now. Play it like I'm... Oh, that was a good hit. I like all these things.
<laughs> wow, Sunset Sorrows. That is really. I feel like you're going. I feel like you're going overboard here. I appreciate it though. Don't get me wrong. Do they know they have to split it? I guess I wouldn't know how to split this pile either. It's pretty good. I'm thinking they put bribery and invasion in the same pile. And then everything else in a different pile. But who can say? Who can say? What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? And they'd be splitting here. <laughs> this is this is an emotional roller coaster. All four in the invasion. Deal. No? Okay. <sighs> Lore when release. Oh my god, dude. Choose a pile to put into your hand. This guy makes me discard, right? Exile card from an opponent's graveyard. Sure. Uh, choose a pile to put in your hand. This beautiful pile. And I'm just gonna pass here. I don't want them to like triple block this this geth. Duress. Oh, God. They lost. Ha-ha. <laughs> Ha-ha. What was my current favorite card? Wow, that's a good question. Did they lose? Come on, lose it. Oh, they won it. Cool. I guess we found out what the Krark was for, huh? Um, God, I don't even know my favorite, my current favorite card. Does someone else know it? <laughs> yeah i'll actually i'll screen cap that that twitch comment and then i can just paste the image so they don't think i'm being vainglorious they can just think i'm they'll just know i'm quoting from someone else you know you're just gonna take bribery and invasion right bribery halfway there Hernam gin that's a good one that's good oh look you took the two cards i said you'd take I was going to marry that card. See, I told you, Frank was going to marry the card. What's t -quitch? Come on, buddy. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. They lost. Okay. Lose two more times. That's all we want. They lost. Okay, lose one more time. Oh, yes! <laughs> Three mana for a lightning bolt and it doesn't even resolve. We're definitely killing that guy now. Ooh, Muldrifter? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, fascinating. Let's cycle this bad boy. Cycle, he says. <laughs> That's not even remotely what the worried is. Oh, isolated chappy, huh? Get out of here. This activated sorcery? No. 
Okay, well, got to kind of play around that, I guess. You just going to block with your matron? Your mommy matron? Big mommy matrons? Buddy, I draft mulls every day. I stay mulling. Let's pop out these graveyards. We got a Gisela. Got a big mulls. We also have seven mana now, so we can cast Flesh Gorger. We can cast... Gisela, we can cast God Pharaoh's Gift. We know they have a lightning bolt. Are we human? Oh, you're just gonna just gonna double kill this guy. <clears throat> Two for one. Sure, <laughs> you got it. Fascinating. Fascinating. Looks like you're feeling a little duress. You doing okay? That's funny. I understood that reference. Who are the exile and Gisela? Solid choice, but we're gonna mull drift. Slow drifting in a burn in a room. It's not a silly mull drifter. It's not a bird, it's an elemental. Even though you think it might be a bird, it is an elemental. Hmm. Guess we'll play a land. I want to have double blue for my... Where's my... Where's my guy? Oh, he's up here. Oh my god, I would have never seen this. Just like hiding up here on their swamp. I'm like, where the fuck did they go? Did you see we're getting Dread Return at Common? <laughs> I did not. I can't keep up with these spoilers. There's just so many. God, what an exhausting, what an exhausting life, you know? This guy's a 2-1. Eh, I'll trade with anything you got. Yeah, dread dread return at common seems insane for Popper. Cube cube or no, <clears throat> you know, even Popper as a format getting dread return is pretty wild. Cards like that being shifted into common is is, is really cool. Yep, you got it. You got a lot of work if you want to empty this graveyard, buddy. Sure. So they can get Lightning Bolt or Tarfire back. Or Duress, I guess. I just signed on. Did you draft any Fat Daddies or Thick Boys? God, I hope so. We haven't really seen them, though. You need a Lightning Bolt. Sounds good. What are you going to hit? Marsh Flitter? Big Flits? I'm pretty sure you're dead. Goodbye, little Molly. Molly Dully. They're like, maybe he won't cast it. 
Oh, he didn't. He did cast it. Oh, I just win. Okay, cool. So for fatties, we got Bruna and Gorger and Hordling and God Pharaoh's Gift. And then we have Angel of Serenity in the sideboard. If that does anything for you. Well, does it? I kind of like Atraxa here, but we really just have to reanimate it. And I don't like that. But it gets around Lightning Bolt. It gets around Tar Fire. It's got Vigilance. It's got Lifelink. It's got all the things that you really want. Oh, yeah, that's a hand. That's a hand, all right. I will mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this one. What are we putting back? God Pharaoh's gift? That's pretty easy. Don't duress me, bro. Sure, you get my overwhelming remorse. I'm overwhelmingly remorseful that I that you got that. Okay. That's what father likes. Now we can go this guy into this guy. They don't look like they're going very fast. Yeah, that's fine. Look at this, I'm demulliganing. You ready? Ooh. Ooh, let's get it right. Because it's on barrel rights. You get it? You guys get it? It was a it was it was sophisticated humor. I understand if it's it's a little much for you. Did you get ringleader? That's pretty good. That's a good one. I pray for you. Boop boop. Boobity bop, scooby boop, boop, boop. So I can play Ringleader for three, keep up two mana in case they hit some goblins. It's a real top four, right? All right, let's see what you hit. I prefer Unburial Lefts. Hmm. Only an idiot would prefer Unburial Lefts. God. Oh, you're just going to play something. You're just going to play Banefire. You'll get caught up in the bane fire. Oh, Reginald. Hello, Reginald. And then we're going to do one of these jobberinos. It's your girl. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. Ugh. So we know they have Ringleader and two other cards. Are they getting flooded? That guy's a pain in the ass. You got it. Goblin? That's not a goblin. So you got one hit. You got a putrid goblin here. Sounds good. They have one card in hand. Great. Come at me, bro. Huh. 
That's fascinating. One, two, three. Well, butter my biscuits. Let's get rid of you and Bruna. Two, three, four, five. And fleshy, I guess. Might as well get in there. Because next time we get to unbarrel right for Bruna. <gasps> and then meld. Oh, we guess we should have thrown a, a human in here just for just for the melding. The beginning of your end step. Wild. See, we're at a point where, unless we draw God Pharaoh's gift, we can cast everything. That's actually fairly interesting here. I don't really want to risk. This is my second draft in this queue. I don't know if this has been, how much has been updated since last time, but. I think we're actually just fine waiting. They have one card in hand. I mean, if it's like a lightning bolt for Gisela, it's pretty rough. Just pitch that guy. Play land. I think next turn we can start attacking with Reggie. I mean, it's very possible we should have just played Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. <laughs> and then like how do they kill it I actually that might have been the play exquisite firecraft does it get exiled no sure that's interesting see now we're definitely going to do it Unless we get that invasion. Scrubland. Not an invasion. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's when you cast her? That's stupid. I dislike. That's much different. Anyway, she's still a 5'7". Flyer, so I'll be okay," he said confidently. I mean, we're at twenty-seven. We we have a two-turn clock on him. You got it. I'll take one. I wonder what their last card is. It might just be an extra extra land that they're just sitting on. He's getting big. I mean, we're definitely just blocking with Seagate Oracle. They're going to lightning bolt Seagate Oracle. They're like, this is our moment. I mean, if they had Bolt, I don't know why they just it Firecraft Bruno when they have Bolt. They could have Goblin Grenade, actually, which would kill Bruno. They did not. Maybe yeah, they still might. Actually, they, I think that's what they got. No, they didn't. Okay. Then I'm not entirely sure about that play. They're going to have to block, and they can easily... I guess they could block here. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 
I guess there's no point in attacking with this guy though. And she has vigilance. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm eating a yogurt. <laughs> Spoken like a true Ralph Wiggum. I'm eating a yogurt. This is it. They're like, this was, I needed that, that ninth mana. Siege gang. One, two, three, four. They, have, they can deal four damage. We take five, which we did. They can sack two things to deal four. And we just win the match. Okay. Would have really loved to stop drawing, lying, drawing lands there. How many lands did we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a lot. Okay. Let's try not to blue screen again, huh? I believe you. Jump in the line. Rock your body in time. Okay. I believe you. And then we wait. Oh, what up, pack rat? I shoved five jelly beans up my nose. <laughs> oh, of course you did. I broke my Wookiee. Oh yeah, snap, keep this. On the play too, so we didn't even get penalized for Night's Whisper. If you're on the draw and you try to Night Whisper on two, then you just have to discard. I wouldn't recommend it. We could also just play Air of Falcon Wrath. We could play this Falcon card, you know? Hey, you want to put this Falcon card into play, huh? Which card? <laughs> this card? I don't understand what you're doing. I don't understand what you're doing. I don't recommend it. That's paddling. Um... I'd rather wait until we have something to discard. If they just randomly kill this, then we don't have a discard outlet. So I think I'm going to stick with stick with the Whisper, you know? Oh, shit. They're going to counter it? No, they're just going to... They're going to consider it, maybe. How's the little man? Can we get him on the stream? Little man's in the kitchen sleeping right now. He's in his little cat tree. Someone's in the kitchen, it's little man. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen, it's little man. Little man's in the kitchen. Ooh, what are we taking? What are we taking? What are we taking? What are we taking? Probably Wrath of God. I don't know what they're doing, but I like having a Wrath of God. What about Big Man? Big Man's asleep in our bedroom with Wally and Watson. Odd Pharaoh's gift, huh? What are you doing here? You've been dilly and clicking me? That's fairly rude. I'm tempted to bounce it so I can keep my brazy bee. I don't care enough. Is there a medium man? <laughs> Not really. I would say Wally and Watson are the medium men, but little man's almost bigger than both of them, so he's not so little when it comes. To They're like the littler men. Can we call Mike Trick Daddy for a while? You know, that's really up to Mike. I don't get to choose what people call him, you know? Also, I'm not sure why.
What do they take? Rotting Regisaur, huh? Fascinating. I'm fascinated. I mean, they're probably just like 7-6, and that guy's hard to deal with. Don't be a land. Don't do it. It's not a land. I accept. Appreciate your, your honesty. They have five cards? What are they doing? What are they doing over here? Are they gonna are they gonna let us go to the next thing? That's a fair trade. Use the one I got in the pool, stupid. Oh? You think our opponent's there? Hello, Kevin Rand. It's me, Margaret. Are you there? Hmm, fact or fiction? Bunch of lands, huh? I'll do three lands, two spells for you. Yeah, that's what I figured. I think if I move any one of the spells to the lands, they take the lands. If I move like one spell, two lands, one spell, one land, they take the two lands and one spell. Which might be better than two spells. I'm not sure. Like I wanted to limit them like, okay, maybe they don't have a fifth land so that they can't actually activate blood. Blood adversary, blood tithe adversary, whatever that card is. Bloodthirsty adversary. And they're either they're just taking their time. Are they are they multi queuing? Doesn't sound like it. What's going on, Kevin? Kevin, please. They did have a land. Oh, they're just doing nothing. Okay. Uh, 
I guess we'll just attack. Sure. Well, I'm fascinated. Okay, okay. <laughs> what is happening? I don't think again. Oh, okay. You got it. Oh my god, yogurt that's actually just a cup of pie filling? <laughs> Fuck, dude, I love pie filling. It's not, it's not, it's not something to be proud of, you know, but fuck, it's so good. Apple, cherry, blueberry. It's all just so concentrated and delicious. What, now you're faithless looting. What is going on? I gave you these two cards. You're not even going to use them? Oh my god, whenever in the lists. Oh my god, you're so much, you're, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Let's do that. I totally forgot this had in list. I just look at it as like a, any of the other like 2-2 two, two or 3-1 creatures that discard a card. Yeah, that, that I, Moody Man, I appreciate you saying that because I probably would have just kept forgetting. It's very rare that you attack with a Guardian of New Banalia. <laughs> oh boy, that would have been better, yeah. It's the same damage. Except I don't get to scry now. And I'm going to draw a land and I'm going to feel bad. But it's, uh, I got no one to blame but myself, you know. What do you get here? You're gone. Counterspell. That's cool. So. Can we get a video of you eating pie filling out of the can? No, but maybe. Uh, attack and enlist. Choose a creature. Did I do it? I'm gonna. Did I do it? Okay. Scry. I'll send you a can of pie filling. Jesus Christ. I don't want to, this is like the most, this is just me debasing myself at this point. <laughs> oh God. You know what? I don't want to be known as the guy who eats pie filling out of a can on, on the internet. That's, I feel like that's not where I want to be. I think. Do you think they counter Muldrifter? Sure, why not? It's just two cards. How much could it cost? $10? Would you feel better if you put it in a mini pie shell? You know, possibly. If I ate an actual food product rather than like just shoveling pie filling into my face. Yeah, you know, I think in terms of my my self-respect, I think it would go a lot farther. I mean, you know, the difference between being like the guy who's eating pie filling straight from a can and then you got pie filling all over your face and being the guy who's just eating a mini pie. Like, it feels like night and day. We had a guy on Mixer that used to eat mayo from the jar. Jesus, you definitely don't want to be that guy. What if you just put whipped cream on the pie filling in a can? I don't think that's going to be better, I'll be honest with you. What if it's in a pot pie? <laughs> Is a pot pie a thing? That's the question I wonder. Because... What does the pot stand for in chicken pot pie? Because it's just a pie, right? Like, it's just a pie filling. It's just a pie crust with literal savory filling instead of sweet filling, right? So I'd like to know what the pot is. I would like to 
cast this factor fiction. Is that, oh. So I get at least two cards. Possibly three. Oh, interesting. It's the thing you cook it in. But all pies are cooked in the same thing, right? They're all cooked in a pie tray, a pie pan. So wouldn't it be a chicken pie pan pie? You know, like that doesn't, I don't know if that, is that true? Because I've literally gotten frozen pot pies and they're in, the, they're just in pie trays. They're just in normal pie trays. Oh, the conversations we have. <laughs> That's a good pun in their input. Hey man, listen, why do they call chicken pot pies pot pies? What's the pot in chicken pot pies? I eat Taco Bell tonight, so either... Dude, Taco Bell's actually surprisingly good for you. I think in terms of fast food, Taco Bell is, like, top tier. Why do these people take so long doing these factor fiction splits, you know? Just split them up, bro. <laughs> Not the way I eat Taco Bell. Oh, dear. So I feel like by putting the bribery in the two pile, they don't want us to bribery or they're tricking us and they're like, go ahead, bribery. I dare you. Fascinating. I think I'm choosing pile one. Can you put the lamp? There you go. It's weird because you click it and it just flickers for a second and there's no real acknowledgement that you like did it correctly. Um, I like a Gisela. I don't know if I care about a flooded strand. Honestly, I don't know if I care about either of these to be quite honest. I'm just trying to keep this brazen borrower up, you know? So when they go like Deceiver, I don't know if Splinter Twin is in this queue. It probably is. Seems like it'd be pretty good. They were originally cooked in a big pot. So in America, they bake their meat pies in pots. So they were called pot pies here, but in England, they're just meat pies. Oh, that's interesting. England's like, we're going to call it what's in it. And America's like, we're going to call it what we put it in. And you're like, all right. I mean, that's less descriptive. And like, you know, knock yourself. People are going to still f try to figure out what the fuck you're talking about 100 years later. But I, you do you, America. Always got to be weird. I did see a Kiki Jiki in draft, but I don't think I've seen Pestermite, Deceiver X Arc, or Splinter Twin individually yet wow oh, this dude's getting in there you got it <laughs> the beatings shall commence until morale improves all right we we got a fresh card here oh, interesting mm, fascinating is he oh abdus gaming thank you for the bits buddy 
Well, other than the blue screen in game one, not bad. Round one, I guess. Is this just your graveyard? I believe it is. Yes. Do we have anything we care about here? Mole Drifter. Hmm. Let's try to get a Mole Drifter back. One, two, three, four, five. Meat on one side and dessert on the other side. What in the earth? <laughs> no. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. I'm enlisting Muldrifter. Oh, it's gotta, it can't be like, uh, without summoning sickness. Eh, we're just gonna attack with both then. Okay, we gotta discard something. I think it's gonna be this fat brood lady. Oh, here we go. Pestermite, to see Rex Arc. Fire. Yes. You got it. Get out of here, fat brood lady. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just keeping this brazen bar up out of fear. <laughs> yeah, you get in there. Oh my God, they have five cards. I don't know what's going on. We have more cards than they do. So that's cool. I'd like to just kill this thing in the ice. I am loving it. Let's get this idiot out of the way. No, you can't. Okay, you got it. So nimble, much obstruction. All right, I'm just gonna kill it. And enlist with this gentleman's help. gonna be two lands yep 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 um we have so much action that i'm just gonna keep a land on top one two three four five six seven eight nine it's ten mana <sighs> they didn't do anything eot which that makes me feel good someone mentioned splinter twin and just put the fear in me so now i'm like wondering if i should just be a little more aggressive Can't find a jellyfish. That's cool. I accept. Ooh, Reckon or B. Reckon or B Buster. Do we think they have another counter spell? That's the question. Because I would love to play this invasion of Tol. I guess we don't have to. I guess we can just unbarrel rights. One, two, three, four. Fat daddy, check it and see. All right, what do we got here? Do we just, we can, we gotta pay for it, right? Let me play it for as long. Spells have convoke, fascinating. This is a human. This is a human, right? When she's not flipped. No, she's just a vampire. 
And she turns into what? A vampire berserker. How many creatures do I have in my graveyard? Three? That's not a lot. It's not very good, is it? It might just be Sakashima's student. Being able to bounce one of these guys. Yeah, that seems fine. Guess we'll play... Do we have any way to deal with this? I don't think so. If we get in anything to the old block, I guess they can actually just activate the bank buster, which is worse. You got it. All right, four cards in hand, nine cards left in your deck. These games feel like they're very slow and grindy. Like I'm just absolutely opposed to playing Brazen Borrower. Brazen Borrower. I mean, this is a seven six flyer. I heard a noise over there. I think are they trying to figure out? They're like, we gotta do something. What's the hold up? Just game one. Good grief, man. Well, here's an ad, I guess. Oh, I guess we're on the ad. Okay. Magma Opus. One damage, three damage. So they're pretty much tapped out and we can just play God Pharaoh's Gift here. Hmm. This only gets one damage, huh? I think all that's fine. I'm very tempted to to try and bounce this. Nope, not that one. And they're like, finally, the chance I was waiting for. And if they crew, I might just actually Wrath of God. They did not crew. I might just get rid of Geth here. Yeah, that seems fine. One, two, three, four, five. What can we get back? Mall Drifter. Sure. I 
Oh, we can also just get back Seal of Doom, which is actually pretty good protection. I actually kind of like that. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a interesting, interesting game. Really wondering what we could have taken with bribery. I mean, I wonder if it was just like Torrential Gear Hulk. Which would have been good, for sure. We are in round two and up a game. My god, this is taking so long. Uh, this is keepable because of multiple things to do, but we're just hoping we draw some more lands. And they went to six on the play. Beautiful. Play your, play your island. Play him as a man. Got lots of... Ooh, that guy's obnoxious. If only we had a way to deal with that guy, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. Big hair. Hair of Falconrath. You got it. I will take two. Lot. Hmm. Do we get in there? I don't know. I do not think so. We're also going to take three from this, which is pretty brutal. But we want a black or a white source so that we can actually start casting things without all the pain. Shipwreck Marsh one time. Got it. Sounds good. Well, we can always discard a Gisela or a Bruna. That's pretty cool. And then reanimate it. Yep. But they hit Magma Opus. Faithless looting. That's worse. Oh boy. Two cards, huh? Well, if only this was all other creatures, not just other creatures you control. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes. Yes, it would. But it's not. You idiot. I mean, if they attack with this, we're definitely just... Oh, yes. It's 
Still trade, but I want that discard outlet. Thank God. That was actually very helpful. Also, being able to bounce Marsh Flitter to copy something is pretty cool. Plus, now our hand is pretty stacked. We have double unbarrel rights, brazen borrower. And, like, all of our guys are very, very good blockers. Fascinating. One, two, three. That seemed good for us. I don't... That was an interesting choice. Um... Gonna bounce the wrong guy. That'd be that'd be really good. But we still get to replay Marsh Flitter, so. Do we get to hit? No. <laughs> it was a whiff. But um it's all fine what's it going to be cycle that guy fascinating aggressive Also aggressive. Well, I think we know they have Counterspell in their deck. Because they got it with their Spell Seeker. So they got, they're got they going on a one card here? Fencer. That seems fine. They have one card, we have six. All right, well. Think twice. Last card. Pongify. <laughs> that does make our bra brazen bar a little better. Beautiful. It's beautiful, it's true. Flip those marshes, baby. I got beef with you. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be for another year, so. It's not like it's right after. Or is it? Oh, no. Fascinating. Boy, I, 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 I. and he gone. No, you're gonna do something in response. So, so mystical. One, two, three, four. We have six mana. Plus an unbarrel rights. It's fire ice. Yeah. What? Really? Okay. <laughs> Do it again, I guess. I think that worked out quite well for us. And they have no cards. Really? You didn't keep that in Faithless Looting, huh? 
One, two, three, four. Now, now all the cards are on the table. Quite literally. Oh yeah, let's go docent. It's pretty good. I should have looked at their whole deck, but I just felt like we were in a kind of a commanding position here, so. I didn't. Discard uh, Island and Faithless Looting. Keeping one card. And thinking twice. All right. It's not a bad sequence of turns. A sequence of, uh, okay. <laughs> we get five, six, seven. I mean, they might've had more turns. And uh, let's see if we can finish this off with the old 3-0. Wouldn't that be nice? 3-0 after a blue screen. And then we can try to get another blue screen in the third round. Just double up on the blue screens, you know? Good times. Fascinating. Okay. Let's play first. For obvious reasons. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Get busy scrubbing. Uh, this is the Magic 30 cube. If that question was still a curiosity. Play this guy and... This guy, and bounce this guy. Beautiful. Oh, that's a good one too. All right, well, we're not facing a blue deck, so I feel like we're, we shouldn't have to worry about counter spells here, which is kind of nice. Okay, that's not a counter spell. I was worried they were gonna counter spell it somehow, and I was gonna be like, wow, that was shockingly predictable. You got it. Those are the woodiest of elves. If they stacked it the other way, they could use the wood elf forest to pump the wildborn preserver one. But now you're just going to do nothing with it. I kind of do want to shoot this, but I really don't think it's going to be the biggest of our problems. Whenever there's damage coming at me, I'm just like, I gotta do something, you know? Oh, that's really good, though. Oh, I think we just wait for that. Yeah, let's just do that. I would have done it this turn, but I don't think Wood Elves and Wildborn Preserver are gonna be the... I think we can do better. They didn't even attack. Fascinating. One, two, three. Let's evoke this sweet gentleman and hope we hit a land. Come on, one time. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Oh boy, it never fails, dude. <laughs> sure. Harrowing. Harrowing play. If they went harrow into night born night 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 wolf what's that dude called what's the night wolf called <laughs> tell me about him okay so now we're gonna do this because this guy is an easy choice and we can get a land oh we got a tundra remember that thing I was saying about not having lands or not having blue sources to counter our things just kidding it's probably for the soul herder they're splashing to get all the value off their guys. 
whatever this is, we're definitely going to wrath of God here. Yep, 100%. 1,000%. If we hit into land, we can follow it up with an air of falcon wrath. So let us block. Sad. Very sad. One, two, three. Hmm, boy. Well, our hand is good. We got an onboard removal spell for whatever they play. Well, not whatever they play, I guess. Giselle is actually pretty good against them, though. Lands. Come on, lands. Cool. That is that is going to be lands. I guarantee it. Thank Jesus. Thank Jesus. Oh my god, what are you doing? What? What is happening? White mane lion. Sure. What does this do? Your opponent can't cast spells with mana value three or less. Sure. You got it. I wonder if I should have killed the bee in response to that. Wouldn't that have made sense? And then they like have to bounce. Does it return another? Return a creature. They could just rebounce the lion. So now they have Hornet Queen in hand. If we get a land. Good jokes, yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, three, four, five, six. Acidic slime, huh? Fascinating. Do I have any way to get back Wrath of God? I don't think so. I kind of just want to get back Moldrifter here. I also feel like they're in good shape to attack us. Literally directly in front of me somewhere. Where did I say? When did I say that? Was it when I was looking for the... <laughs> The thing? The adventure? The brazen bar? Because that is a long time ago. Um, we can also Sakashima's student and just copy. I guess we can't because we don't have a second. Like I just really want to land here. One, two, three, four, five... Like, we're not going to Bruno without hitting lands, so. Old quotes I'm adding back in. How do you know these, though? Oh, my God, dude. We could also just reanimate Bruno next turn. I guess we can wait till we get a land, right? I don't really care about it. Let's get rid of Gate here. I mean, we have, we just need to hit one land. That's all. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands here and 18 cards left. So there's 10, there's over 50%. Oh, that's good. Don't like that. I am dead inside. Oh, yeah, look, another B. Well... If I could get back Wrath of God. 
Yeah, right. Reanimate does not get her reanimate. Good, good looking out there. It's true. Hey, that's a land. Does this like? It's lifelink, huh? That's pretty good. So I guess we get back, yeah, we get back Seagate Oracle here too. And then we get to meld. Yeah, use that ability for sure, bro. Yeah, get that marsh. No attacks. Oh yeah, look at that beauty. Can't cast spells with mana value three or less. I hope that's all of your spells. First strike, first strike, it's pretty good. All right, <laughs> must be a nest. Hornet nest is the hornet best. <laughs> How is that even a real name, man? How is that even a real name? That you come into a stream where there's eight hornets and a hornet queen on the battlefield. Wow, they are really just getting in there. Uh, let's block you, block you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. We gain nine, I think we go to one here. Is force in this cube, I don't know. I want to block the Hornet Queen, but I also don't want to block the Hornet Queen. Did we go to one? Is that, was I correct? Wow. If they could just not play something, that would be cool. Okay, now we're back in the saddle again. One, two, three, four. So, we don't have anything instant speed except for fact, which I don't think we need here. Um... So I think this puts us in okay shape. But what do I know? Hinterland Harbor, sure. Two, three, four, five, six. Nothing but big mana spells here. Jesus God. Oh Lord, it's an X spell. Wonderful. March of the Multitudes. Oh, phenomenal. Well, that is a thing. That's actually not as bad as I expected it to be. Is this any graveyard or just mine? Your graveyard, okay. Um, what can we do here? We can reanimate Bruna. Can we reanimate Bruna and Gisela? I guess we can. We have unbarrel rights and we have invasion. Might want a bribery. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We can't do both in one turn. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, we could bribery hope to hit something and then but is Invasion just better? Is God Pharaoh's Gift just better here? 
Hmm. I mean, they're in top deck mode. Let's bribery. I think we can get. I think we can get something decent here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. This was correct. Uh, I, I think they had a better board state, but their better board state could not get past our board state ever. So, especially knowing what they have in their deck, like they just don't. Like they'd have to hit like murderous rider. Um. So I mean, it totally makes sense that they did what they did. Just play Air of Falcon Wrath here. Typical. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hmm. All right. And we win that game. Beautiful. They do like going wide, don't they? Makes me wonder if Angel of Serenity is decent here. It might be better than God Pharaoh's Gift. I feel like God Pharaoh's Gift has been meh. So we can bring an Angel and also take out Gate and bring in like... I don't know. I don't think we're flickering enough things for Soul Heart. Actually, Marsh Flitter... Uh, Mull Drifter and Seagate Oracle are not terrible. Plus, it's just a 2 2. I think that's actually probably fine. We shall see. Yeah, this is fine. I think I can with Wrath of God here. Yeah, okay. So if we get a black source, Gucci. <laughs> oh boy. That was not a black source, unfortunately. Affinity. These quotes you're just adding are, are wild. Land? Oh, beautiful. That was a good one, too. And now we're going to try to hit another land. And we did it. God, we're very good at this game. Oh, the old fleshy. Fleshy boy. So they also have martial coup. So that's interesting. I don't know if these quotes are good that you're adding out of context. I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm comfortable with all that. Uh, huh. So we can actually play f air. Let's let's play air here. We can double block their flesh gorger, discard our flesh gorger, and then invasion of Torvada Tor Tolvada it. Let's see if that does anything. 
I mean, it will do something, you know, but. Okay. That's good. Considering they only have four lands, I am actually kind of tempted to Wrath of God here. Interesting. Or, like, if we can go Wrath into Bribery, that feels really good. Because this is a 7-5 now. Yeah, I think we have to do that. <laughs> and we don't want to give them life, so we can't attack into it. And we don't have an answer for it, so... Yeah, I guess we're just wrathing here. Plus, we have six lands here, so I'm one turn away from just hard casting Flesh Gorger. Which is fine. Hmm. Plus, we can Bribery next turn into Flesh Gorger, or Invasion into Flesh Gorger. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, dang it. Yeah, we need another blue source, so I guess we're just getting an island here. Oh, underground sea. That's even better. Uh, land, land. And this is probably going to be the game, I'll be honest with you. They've missed a lot of land drops. Hornet Queen could be good. Is that better than... Tovalar's Huntmaster? Probably not. Especially if this guy flips. A few years ago, some other stream regular had made a Google Doc and was copying down quotes and it was shared. Oh my god, well that's wild. <laughs> now are there 90 plus quotes? Oh my god. Could be though. Could be though. What does that mean? What is that in response to? I don't even know what I was saying, I'll be honest with you. They have two cards in hand. Three cards after they draw. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to play Gorgie. Seven mana, huh? Hornet Queen being better. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's true. Maybe you're right, you know? Oh, they didn't crack their clue at the end of the turn. That's fascinating. Oh yeah, play that. Play that rider. Look at that. Look at that fat daddy. Well, let's get in there for 7,000. We get to eat at least two guys. At least. Maybe more, you know? So many more. Oh yeah, give me this guy. One, two... Three, four, five. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the invasion. What? I feel like I didn't click that. I feel like I clicked invasion, but I'm probably not 100%. So, what? That's weird. I feel very confident that I clicked invasion there. But I'm probably wrong. Magic Online is gaslighting me. That guy's good. So many wolves, man. It's a little time. I mean, we have three more <laughs> Phyrexian flesh gorgers. So, we can gorge so much flesh. You don't even want to know how much flesh we're gorging here.
let's not use all of our blue sources, I guess. We can go black, white, white. Uh, attack your face, attack your face, attack your face. Hmm. Attack Garrick with both of these guys. Ha! <laughs> nice. Okay. What? They know it's a 7-7, seven, seven, right? Is it a 7-6? Seven, 7-5. Seven, okay. Let's do it again one more time. <laughs> this is our third Flesh Gorger. We got one more. We got four Flesh Gorgers. Got the play set over here. Love it. Love it. What's it gonna be? Champ. Okay, that guy into Master. Okay. You got it. This an upsetting preponderance of flesh. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with here. Get gorged on. Does that just do it? One, two, three, four. Does that just kill them? One, two, three. What if they martial coup though? One, two, three, four, five. I don't think it's worth expending that resource now. Are these guys even worth getting in these blue gun master? 79? We could have dealt 11 and then if they if they martial coup next turn, this dies. I guess we get back. They get these back, which is pretty brutal. They go to their hand? Yeah, they all go to the hand, okay. So we don't get to play them. Yeah, this is fine. It means you're not blocking Flesh Gorger. Yes, it's in your fleshy bottoms. We should have actually got Seal of Doom back this turn. That would have been cool. I'm not sure I want to play anything, but I feel like I should play something. Yeah, let's get Seal back. I know it feels weird, but... I should have done this before, but if they have Marshall Co, I'm kind of forcing them to use it. And then we get to Angel of Serenity back like three creatures. And we're at 31 and we get to attack this. And so we'll see. Mm hmm. Oh, Hornet Queen. Okay. Hmm. God, again, I wish this was other creatures, not other creatures you control. I don't think this guy's very good at all. So Angel lets us just eat three of these guys, which means they double block here, and they take two. Which isn't great. I guess we could just Sakashima student and just copy this, just straight up.
Or we can copy the flesh gourd. No, we can't. We don't have enough mana for all of that. That's too much. That's too much going on. Uh, this feels correct. Of course, now if we play Gethel, our creatures die, so. Definitely don't want to attack here. I'll trade a B for a, for an invasion. Or for a, <laughs> for, for a wolf, rather. You get it. You know what I'm saying. Revel arc. Fascinating. Wait, what did I miss? One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one is hidden under this invasion. Got it. Hmm. So if we Angel of Serenity, what do they get back? They get back like White Mane Lion. It's not, it's nothing super great. They also have Momentary Blink, but no blue source. I feel like Angel of Serenity here is probably pretty good. To just eat three bees. I mean, they're at 10. Did we just attack their face? Probably. Oh, good. You have something? Swift end. A second. <laughs> drew, drew, drew swift end again, huh? Okie dokie. Oh, what? What just happened? There was like an error, too. weird what <laughs> now it's gone all right thank you guys for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons check me out on youtube and twitch and everywhere else and uh check out factor it's a great way to save some money on some free meals and support the channel and i'll see you next time